another day another dollar folks got a lot of things going on today and wanted to bring you guys along for this adventure uh, first thing to let you guys know is we just got the moped back from the shop Jew man's moped it's definitely banged up but it's repaired got two mirrors on it got the brake handle on it and uh, they did what they could to get this thing right it cost us a hundred and I think $140 to get it fixed but she should be good to go we're gonna give her a little test drive real quick shout out to Cody here What's up? waiting on Jellico to get here potentially gonna be picking up a couch today and also getting ready to see Darnell we're actually gonna see Darnell on his stomping grounds we're gonna see what this guy has going on we're gonna get a chance to see what he's got going on with the pressure washing and with this bring you guys an update of this guy moving forward after prison but the first thing we need to do is get this moped out of the back of the truck and see how this thing rides. Cody, you got it? I mean, it may have to. Put it on your back. Shout out to Cody. Cody got this out by himself. I'm kidding. All right, yeah, we got the moped back. I started it up at the shop. Come on, baby. There you go. The moped was leaning over, so it's probably got gas all over the place. I can't smell any. All right, let's see if she's uh, good to go. Well, she rides pretty good. Rides pretty good. From a totaled moped to back together glad we got this one fixed i didn't think it was going to be repairable but we got it fixed we're waiting on jellico to get in right now we're going to go pick up the couch we're going to go see darnell we got the new neighbors that are moving in across the street that house was on the market for only one month it is definitely a seller's market a lot of people looking to buy houses you think i should go talk to them right now and be like hey who's cutting your grass i know you're just getting out the u-haul man that's a big ass u-haul hey, we all think y'all parking that at you ain't parking there in front of my The show is on the road right now, folks. Special shout out to Cody. What's up? Cody doesn't get a chance to ride with us too much anymore, and that's because Cody has been helping us get videos edited. Mm -hmm. But we're ahead right now, and Cody's coming with us. And we also have this guy back here. What up? How we doing? Got a pressure washer in the back. That's going to be very important for today as well. But Jellico, we're getting ready to go pick up a couch that you have not, you haven't seen this couch yet. Yeah, you've seen it's got holes and it needs patchwork, man. I'm kind of scared here. Well, one right. thing about it, it's a good couch. It's a damn good couch. It just needs a little bit of TLC, a little tender love and care. But we're going to get this thing, get it back to good, and then we're going to see if we can flip this. Now, one thing that I've learned, and I'm sure Jellica's learning this as well, we are learning about this furniture gig. You just can't go get everything that's for free. Uh, you know, you got you to gotta weed through the trash to find the treasure. And sometimes a picture doesn't really do justice to what a couch really looks like until you see it in person. They could be using filters on these pictures for all I know. If I find out they're using Snapchat filters on these free couches, they might just be doing that little Photoshop. But you just can't go get everything. Not everything's going to be worth the drive. we got to go out to Norfolk to pick this thing up. And then we got to lug it down a flight of stairs. There's things that I ask when going to pick up furniture and one of the main questions I ask is where is the couch located upstairs or downstairs this one unfortunately is upstairs so I hope you brought your back to work with you yes unfortunately yes I did <laughs> well one thing about it we're gonna need it today because not only are we getting the couch we're gonna go pick that up we're gonna go see Darnell and then we've got our first yard to cut now when you think about this this is another little venture that we're trying to to run with this little lawn care service everybody can cut grass if you cut your own grass if you've cut the grass at your parents house anything like that there's nothing to it really but it gets a little more intimidating when you're getting ready to go cut your first customer's yard yeah man it, it's it's a big boy too man it ain't it ain't no joke it ain't no joke it, 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 it's sharp it really is. It's a big yard. So you said we're just gonna cut it, right? Are we are we cutting and edging or what? Cut edging. Yeah, we're doing all that. Oh wow. So I'm cutting while you're edging. Yeah. Thing, look, let's talk about this and we can talk about it on camera, Jellico. Look, I want to let you know this. The game plan obviously is to get, you know, five yards a day or a yard a day, whatever we can get to, right? But we don't got that yet. This is only our yeah. first yard. Yeah. So we don't gotta rush this. We don't wanna take three hours on this yard. <laughs> I was about to say, man. But we don't wanna we don't want to sit there and act like we really do this for a living because we don't. Can you tell everybody how we got it? No, 
How? What do you mean? How, how you how you got in the job? How? What was your selling tactic in getting this job? Did you tell them? No. Go ahead. He put an ad on Craigslist that he said we do any yard, any yard for twenty five dollars. First cut is twenty five dollars, and then we negotiate the price afterwards. I also said that we got twenty five years of experience. <laughs> it may have fibbed just a little bit. But folks, when we go cut this yard, you're coming along with us, and we got a little, I put a little bit of thought into this on how, whoa, 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 easy killer, with your little Acura RSX piece of junk right there. Hey, 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 hey. Oh yeah, I forgot, Jellica drives an, R, uh, an Acura. I only called it a piece of junk junk because they cut us off. We're going to the projects to pick up this couch right now, folks. I know I'm going all over the place, but what is this guy doing? He's about to lose all this sheetrock out the back of his truck. Oh my God, dude. Dude, we are on the interstate and you are going five miles an hour. Look, I ain't lying. He don't even got this strap down. Hey, Cody, turn on the blue and red lights. Pull this guy over right now. Pull over. I put a little bit of thought into how I'm gonna take you guys along for this, this yard work. And I think uh, when we get to that, you might find this pretty exhilarating. It's probably not the right word. This on the Police at their finest. What's he doing? He's checking his, were you checking your, uh, your plenty of fish account? <laughs> I don't think that's what you're supposed to be doing. I think you're supposed to be out here directing traffic because they definitely need some traffic direction out here. All right, we're getting close, I believe. Are we getting close, Cody? Yep. We're getting close to the location where we're going to go pick up this couch from. We're definitely in, we're in, we're in downtown Norfolk right now. Downtown Norfolk has its good <laughs> spots and it's got its not so great spots. When I saw the address, I immediately thought that it wasn't in that great of a spot. But you know what? That doesn't even matter. It's a decent looking couch. And I think we're going to be able to bring this thing back. And we're also going to give away some business cards. Hey, if you, you got anything else you need to get gone. You make sure you holler and get gone. Change my voicemail. I heard your voicemail. Boy, Jellicum. Please, can we hear that voicemail real quick? Can we nah, put it? Come, come on, man. Is it messed up, man? Oh, my God, Jellica, You sound like, uh, you sound suspect as hell on that voicemail. Oh, man. Pull up the voicemail. I want you guys to hear this. Jellico does have the official Get Gone voicemail. You can't have a business if you don't have a voicemail set up for it. But I respect Jellico for doing this. We just need to have it a little more energized, you know? Hey! Thanks for calling Get Gone. We can't get to the phone right now because we're getting things going right now. Leave us your name and your number, and we'll get back to you just as soon as we can get it going for you. Let's hear what Jellico did. Hello, thanks for calling Get Gone. What you need to get gone? This is Brett Jellico. Please leave your name and number and a brief message, a detailed message, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for calling and have a good That's not bad. It caught me by surprise when I first heard it. I was like, wow. Jellica, you know anything about Norfolk? Uh, yeah, I do. So tell me we are in the Park Place area. Pretty much. So Park Place is, it used to be a very, very bad area. Back when Joe was uh, 18 years old and I was smoking the crack rock, uh, this used to be where I would come to cop from. Just say, man, this is the area. I when you go down these road number sign streets, 31st, 21st, he says, park on the left side of the street across from the old church, you will see. Folks, you may see somebody run up to the car asking us if we're trying to score. These are the type of houses that I was looking to try to flip. Oh God, Llewellyn, boy, it's bringing me back to them days though. Oh uh, yeah, hey look, I got, uh, I, got, uh, I got $26 and quarters. Can you work with me? God, I hope that wasn't the house. All right, all right, all right. We just picked up the couch. We've got the cushions in the back right here. We've got the nice brown cushions back here. They got a little bit of a smell to them, but we're gonna get this thing cleaned up. And I really wanna show you guys the actual couch, but it's strapped down in the back of the truck back there. You can't get a full, you can't see it. I'll show it to you later. But Jellico, what'd you think of that couch? Not bad, man, not bad at all, man. I like the structure. Uh, it looks kinda old school, man. You know what I'm saying? It has that old school feel, man, but it's it's newer. The awesome guy that we got a chance to meet uh, who was getting rid of the couch, even told him about it after prison show, so a very special shout out to Henry, the individual who we met, and he even gave us what? A blender and some pots and pans. Woohoo! So we can make some swole and margaritas. There we go. Another couch is picked up, now it's off to go see Darnell. Whew! Folks, I'm out of breath. More out of breath than moving this couch, and I need to say something. Jellico, I'm very proud of me and you because we moved this without even really breaking a sweat. Yeah, we did. A little breeze today. 
But I am a little winded right now, folks, because I, I just got done doing the Instagram Live. It was like the Bobo Part 2 right there. We went in on that uh, Instagram Live. Rock with After Prison Show on Instagram, at Joe P. Guerrero, please. Sometimes we do some entertaining things there. Uh, but we're about to be at Darnell's right now. This is going to be the first time that we're doing a video like this, a vlog, where we're going to get a chance to see Darnell after prison and see what he's doing, you know, today. You know, again, 30 years in prison for a crime that he did not commit, and now he's trying to be out here rebuilding his life, reestablishing himself out here in the free world. And we're about to pull up on this man, throw this camera right up on him and see what he's up to. Oh, and we also got a little surprise for Darnell as well. We are just getting here to Darnell's right now. We are going to get a chance to see Darnell's setup and his operation for his pressure washing. And as we get here, let's say hello to Darnell. What's going on with you, man? How you doing, APS family? <laughs> Special shout out to Darnell. We get a chance to see the van for the first time. The only other time I saw this was on the news. As you can see, I told you I, prior, uh, you know, to the interview, I, I had to get some little renovations done on the van. You know, had all my chemicals and everything. I had this my trusty uh, wet vac, wet and dry vac, but I had an issue with my pressure washer and uh, the generator. So I just recently, you know, uh, through some contributions, I ended up getting those right there. And now, man, I just need to get this stuff hooked up. How many cars do you figure you wash on a on a weekly basis? With me, because it's just me right now starting out, I would say about 12. 12 cars? Mm -hmm. About 12. But it's, 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 I'd say it's pretty good because, you know, most people want their well wishers who've seen APS or seen the news. And so it's, it's constantly coming. There is more in, in, uh, influx of people calling, right? But, you know, I don't have that manpower to really handle all that right now. If I had my pressure wash and everything built up, I possibly could knock all that out. You know, and which will bring a big, you know, profit return. I'm on my way up. You know, <laughs> I ain't gonna say you on the bottom floor. You got the van and you got the uh, the water tank in the van, and that's a big that's a big step in the right direction. Plus all of the equipment that you have. You know, you had mentioned something about uh, where some of your business is coming from. From the news interview, I imagine brought you yes. some business. Tell me, after prison show brought you something, man? Did it, has have people been reaching out since uh, we started featuring actually, you? Actually, yes. You know, a lot. I was surprised the, the the amount of support that came from the APS family because. People have been calling me who have been suffering with depression. Guys who were vets. Uh, one of the guys told me yesterday that uh, he's a coach for you know athletes, you know for teen athletes, and he had told me that he was using the story to motivate some of the teens about not giving up. We, I was like, wow, <laughs> that was that was really touching to me. You know, and one lady said she wanted her son. She now she's a little bit more local, right? But she wanted her son to meet me, and then because he suffered with uh, some type of, uh, I guess, some type of little. You know, he might have been just depressed or whatever, right? And she wanted him to meet me. And I think, you know, I said, but that'd be my honor. And I said, wow, this is just from the interview. Just from the interview. And people just constantly from it, from Indiana, from Germany, from somewhere everywhere. You know, so much love to the APS family. Dude. Much love. I'm grateful to get the opportunity to share your story. And we may not have a million views on your story just yet hopefully maybe someday it will get to that point you know i want to ask you this as well yes, i don't think i've had a chance to ask you this but i know you've seen the videos that we've put together featuring mm -hmm. your story what are your thoughts on uh, seeing how we've put your story together and also the amount of support or outreach that people have been offering to you from it i've been extremely touched you know i've been extremely touched with the people uh a lot of your viewers you know they're very very compassionate They've been encouraging me more than I think I've given them encouragement, you know. Um, I, I like the way y'all set the videos up, you know, because you displayed it in a good light. A lot of times, sometimes media goes off of little small tidbits and people, they jump on something without having the full research. Now, I've looked and seen that. Some of the things I've heard now, sometimes, you know, you get, I guess, what they call trolls. I didn't know anything about that until when I looked this week. <laughs> it was a troll up there and I noticed that the APS people, y'all had some good supporters because... That's people jumped on trolls. I'm like, good lord. <laughs> you know, you're gonna have it no matter what. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter, right? Because, like I said, I know the truth. Victim knows the truth. God knows the truth, and so it doesn't. Even, it doesn't even matter, man. You know, I'm out. And you know, here's one thing you cannot do. You cannot allow people when you know the truth. You cannot allow people in any shape, form, or fashion try to throw cold water on your dreams. You cannot do that. I want to take a, a little bit of time and switch gears a little bit and mm -hmm. check out a little bit more of your setup and. You know, again, this is the first time we're getting a chance to see it. Well, um, this is Darnell's van right here. Well, look, it's blistering out here. I don't want to keep you out here too long, Darnell. We just wanted to come through and see you real quick, yes, and sir. we're gonna we're gonna do something for you in a minute. But look, talk to us a little bit about what you got in the van and the equipment that you use to do the auto detailing. 
Okay, uh, what I do is, um, of course, while I'm in the process of renovating, there are certain chemicals that I may use. I might use the waterless wash, which I know that a lot of people in the Midwest use. Uh, for cars that are like like your vehicle, right? Well, that's really not dirty at all, right? It might have uh, a medium amount of dust or whatever it is, a little dirt on it or whatever. So what I've done is I've adopted from research stuff like uh, water, well, waterless wash, where's that at? If I don't have a lot of waters, I go to an apartment complex. Well, sometimes the landlords don't like them using a lot of water, so I might use a uh, waterless wooden tire from McGuire. That's that's good. That's good. And uh, I use Griot when uh, I always put like a show show shine, and I just got to everybody right for real. I try to give everybody full package, whether they're paying fifty dollars or the seventy five to do the deep interior, because. My passion is business and cars, and so I try to give them the works with everything, you know. Darn right. Give them the best job that you I can. Have, I have everything you need. I have, I have stuff for carpets, stains and carpets, interior. Uh, sometimes, it's, you know, I know that now time, because I'm getting such a volume of a lot of customers, I might use like a quick wax, quick shine and wax, right? Then I, I just went ahead, I purchased, uh, like I said, I went and purchased a buffer. Got me old buffer here. I want to got this thing here, man at the uh what's that it's some type of uh pawn shop right right i can't remember where it's at right i went and got that cash converters cash converters i went and got that cash converters for ten dollars that works well i had did a jaguar the other day uh, my water tank here 50 gallons you know we probably can get about 10 cars because uh it's just on how you do it it's just on how you do it if you're not wasting a lot of water right a lot of times i use the, for the rims right i use the like breakaway you know to clean the rims out and you know Get a lot of the, uh, the the road dust up and all those things, but well, you got your darn good setup, Darnell, and uh, we got the wet vac right here. Yes, sir. Uh, the wet and dry vac right here. That's a nice looking vacuum right there. Yes, sir. And you said you had to go get a new pressure washer and a new generator because you're using an electric generator. I mean, an electric pressure washer, and the one that you had prior it broke down on you. Yeah. Well, with that. I had talked about this with you off camera. I've got a pressure washer. It's only been used one time. We're actually going to give you this gas powered uh, pressure washer. This is going to be a little contribution from, oh, man. you know, me and After Prison Show to you to help your business. And hopefully, you know, with this good quality gas pressure washer, hopefully you won't have any hiccups and maybe you can move a little bit faster if that's what you're trying to do. And, and hopefully it just doesn't cause any paint to get peeled off of no cars because <laughs> it could possibly yeah, be the man, case. Man. How, much, how much PSI is it? It's 3,500, I think. I think that's what it is. Yeah, It'll yeah. say it right on yeah, the top. I'm gonna have to practice that before I use it, man, because, uh, hey. Well, we're gonna get this thing out right now. <laughs> Cody Angelico in the background. We'll get it out and see if we can get it cranked up. Oh, wow. Hmm. There's something right here. Whoa, man. Ain't nothing but the truth. Honda. Oh, got the Honda one. Oh. We got the Honda motor on. It's a, it's a Ryobi. <laughs> yeah, but it's look, got the I, Honda I, I motor. I read about them. I read about them, man. You know what I mean? It's yeah, a 3,000 PSI right here. Uh, you can even put the soap in it if you... I don't know how to do that. Uh, Should be a tube. I got a book for it. I just didn't have time to find the book. Sorry. But I'm going to bring this up for you. Yeah, I mean, I said, but you know, on YouTube, that's they have a lot of those up there. Yeah, they'll show, and then it's also we'll show it to you in a minute once we get it up here. Mm. And it's really light too. Is it? Oh, okay. So the water hooks up right back here, and this sucker ain't nothing but the truth. Or on the on the spigot, I should say. You can see the different. Oh, it's already up there. Yeah, so you can just click them. You can click them over. But usually, 40 is the uh, 40 is the one you're going to want to use for cars. I did use this on my car one time. And if you want to take this off and change it, right, it just pops out. Wow, man. And you can put all sorts of connections on this thing. All right. <laughs> so gas is flowing. Soap is off. And you're going to want to, let me get it warmed up before you hit it. This is a water pump, though. Yeah, that's a pump right there. Yeah. But you need a power for it, too, though. Yeah, that's why I set the generator up. It needs some kind of forced water going into it. It can't just be, it's not gonna suck it from the tank, which is crazy. With the, the electric one, it will suck it from the tank. Oh, it's all right, though. Well, regardless. Well, it works, see, hey, look, it works. I'll get that straight. I'll get that straight. I appreciate that, man. This is all I need, for real. I, I can get that hooked up. That'd be no problem. Those just little small, small little connections. All right, well, look, Donnell, we gotta roll because yes, I gotta go get this yard cut. 
<laughs> I wanted to swing through here and just check on you. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, man. We got a lot more to be doing with you. I'll be hopeful and looking forward to continuing to share your story yes, and waiting for that day when we can come do that big update video talking yes, about this big news that you have, that full exoneration yes, is going sir. through. But look, from me and from After Prison Show, this is the first contribution we want to make to you and your business. I appreciate it, man. I just wish that, you know, you, you do have a, a pump in there, but you're going to need power for that. That's so. all right. Hey, look, that's generate. all right. That's all right. That's a, that's a big step just to have it. You know, that's that's something small. That's something small. But it works, though. That's the thing. Well, all right. It's good to see you. Thank you, man. And we're going to be looking forward to seeing yes, you real yes, soon, sir, man. Sir. Appreciate y'all, man. Ain't no problem. Thank you. All right, folks. We've just, well, we've left from Darnell's a little while ago. And special shout out to Darnell. It was really awesome getting a chance to see his setup with the mobile detailing operation that he has. And also being able to contribute that pressure washer to him. He does have a pump, so hopefully that's going to help that water situation uh, that was acting up a little bit just trying to get water out of the tank that he's got in the back of his van. But we're already back at the house right now and we have got to go cut this yard. This is going to be our first yard that we're going to get a chance to cut and this is kind of intimidating. Um, I'm going to be honest, it's only cutting grass but it's making a first impression that means everything. So we're going to be taking you guys along to cut some grass and you ask yourself how exciting can that be well we're about to strap a gopro to the side of the zero turn so hopefully it'll be somewhat exciting and also hopefully the job comes out pretty well jellico are you at all nervous about this i don't know man that's what i want to hear i am i'm gonna be honest i am <laughs> okay we're getting gassed up right now getting gassed up we got the equipment we got the trailer loaded up Boy, we look like a bona fide uh, landscape company, don't we? Good Lord. Our first client is waiting on us. Told her we'd be there in five minutes. How you think we're gonna do, Cody? It's gonna be good. Got all the equipment you need. Got all the equipment we need. You ready for this? Oh boy. Just got done doing our first lawn and if that wasn't an adventure, I don't know what else is. Jellica, what did you think about the fact that as soon as we got over there and started cutting grass, the uh, the zero turn just died and would not start? Well, I was thinking push, push mowing this bitch, that lawn would have been, oh my gosh. Yeah, that would have been a, a bear. Yeah, man. I just, I figured you'd figure it out if anything. Cause I don't know much about them, man. Thank God I watched the YouTube video about the starting issues on these Toro zero turns. Folks, we had to hot wire the, the riding mower to get it to start. I did not want to, I did not want to cut it off at all after we got it hot wired and then it ran out of gas and guess what? It wouldn't start. I broke down in their backyard and I broke down in their front yard. And then guess what? I sent Jellico out yesterday to go buy us a, a leaf blower and we couldn't get that started. But shout out to Jellico, he did get that started. Woo -woo. We got the yard done, $25 for this yard. It was huge. <laughs> did you get a picture of it, man? I didn't even get a picture of it. I got some footage of it on the GoPro. See the GoPro? We had that mounted to the front of the uh, front of the zero turn right there. I don't know if you can see it right there, but there it is. It's been a busy day. I was a little anxious about going and trying to do this lawn. It was our first time, and of course we ran into problems, but we made it through it. We got to see Darnell. We got to pick up a couch. There's the new couch right there, folks. Old Brown Beauty number two. How long did it take us to do that lawn? It took us a little bit over an hour. A little bit over an hour but we wanted to take our time and get it done right and i think we did a, a fairly decent yeah, job we looking sharp man there's no doubt she, they wanted to, to get it right before they started in on it themselves so it definitely looks good now and we tried to sell some uh, hauling work yes we did yeah it's very good i know she's i know she saw the garage and was like oh Oh, the garage was loaded <laughs> hey we got a we got a box truck right here i mean we can help you we did the best that we could. I hope we did a damn good job for these people and only time will tell 
if they call us back. 